It is Christmas in July. I'm so excited. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an exciting video because I am going to share with you guys the items that I picked up during the early access portion of the anniversary sale. I did take you guys along with me to the early, early access portion of the anniversary sale, which started on the 11th, and I will have the clip here in the iCard as well as listed down below, so that way you guys can check it out to view all the items that I previewed in the store. My local Nordstrom didn't have a lot of things in store, so I did place bulk of my order online and I cannot wait for them to come in so there will be a part two to this haul video where I show you guys the items that I picked up online and my sales associate at the Nordstrom at Dayland Mall her name is Ashley she was amazing she really went through everything with me and I had a blast shopping with her so if you are in the Miami area and you do visit the Nordstrom at Dayland Mall definitely check her out she is awesome if you're not aware of what the anniversary sale is it is the quintessential shopping extravaganza of all year that Nordstrom hosts every year around this time. They do it for about three weeks. This sale is known mainly to refresh your fall and winter wardrobe, but they have so many pieces on there that encompasses everything that people would need. Everything from home to baby, men care, beauty, skin care, fragrances, everything under the sun, shoes, boots, anything that you would need to update your wardrobe, your home, your lifestyle, it is all included in the anniversary sale and that's why I love shopping it. This is my third year shopping it and I get excited about the items that they roll out. I do kind of look at some of the fall stuff and say, man, I really wish that I could wear it. But being that I live in Miami, a lot of the things do not work for me. So I do like the fact that not only do they have things for the fall and winter months, but they have things that you can wear all year round. They have a lot of basics that you you can add to your collection they have a lot of athleisure wear athletic wear everything they have everything so if you have never shopped the anniversary sale or if you're interested or curious about the anniversary sale I highly recommend it this sale now is open to the public so if you didn't get the opportunity to shop during the early access you definitely can shop now a lot of things did sell out but I know Nordstrom said that they are planning on restocking a lot of the hot listed items if there's any items that you're considering or that you are wanting definitely hit the refresh button on that page and you will see that it does restock periodically before we get into the video I want to say hi to all my new subscribers thank you so much for stopping by and if you aren't subscribed I would love for you to join my family so please subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell so that way you are notified every time that I upload a new video I also want to mention that I am going to be doing a giveaway in this video I will be giving away $200 one $100 gift card to two people because I want you guys to join in on this shopping adventure I really do wish that I can give everyone a gift card but unfortunately I can't but that's why I'm picking two winners this time to give away $100 e-gift card to Nordstrom so that way you guys can shop this amazing amazing sale this sale does end on August 5th but you don't have to use it for the sale you can use it whenever you want it doesn't expire but it would be nice to be able to use something during the anniversary sale just to be able to pick up the items that you had your eye on the rules for the giveaway are very very simple all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel as well as comment down below what items you're most interested in getting during the anniversary sale or if you already shopped it what items that you were so happy that you were able to get to add to your collection whether it be your house or your closet or your shoe collection whatever it is just let me know down below and also leave in the comment section leave me a way of being able to contact you whether it's your email address or your Instagram name the giveaway will run for one entire week and it will end on the 27th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so enough with that let's get into the video the first item that I'm going to share with you guys is the Nordstrom Pave stud earrings. I did pick these up last year and I got it in the silver. This year they came out with it in the rose gold and I absolutely love these earrings. They're perfect for everyday wear. You can dress them up, dress them down. You can be very casual with them. I do love the fact that they're not just your typical everyday stud. They do have a little pizzazz to it. And for the price, you do get a good quality pair of earrings. These are cubic zirconium and it is sterling silver. So if you are sensitive like I am, with earrings this will definitely not hurt your ears as I mentioned I do have the silver one and I absolutely love it so when I saw the rose gold I had to have it the other jewelry accessory piece that I picked up in store is the treasure and bond two layer bar and disc pendant I just love the simplicity of it I used to be big on statement jewelry but now I find myself loving dainty necklaces I feel like you can wear them with anything they can dress up a look they can take something that's very casual and make it look a little bit more sophisticated a little bit more 
more polished and that's why I'm absolutely loving these dainty necklaces I did place another order for another dainty necklace but it hasn't arrived yet but when I do receive it I'm gonna share with you guys and I just love being able to use them as layering pieces and you can definitely change up your look by adding some dainty necklaces to it they had a lot of hair care products some of them I do not use but I know that a lot of people have been raving about these brands I know they had Alterna they had Moroccan oil hair products they had a wide variety of hair care products but for me I didn't need any of them so the only item that I picked up from that hair care section was this T3 curling iron I am absolutely in love with the way that this T3 curling iron curls my hair and it is the one and a quarter professional curling iron it is retail for 160 but currently they have it for $107 and this bad boy is worth every single penny so this is what it looks like it is a beautiful curling iron it does have rose gold details which I am absolutely in love with and I just think that it is a sleek beautiful curling iron I did use this to curl my hair in one of the Instagram pictures that I posted and I will insert the clip here just so you guys can see how beautiful the curls were it has been a while since I used a curling iron so I was really excited about adding this to my collection because I do own a lot of curling wands it's nice to have a curling iron that does come with a clamp so that way you can clamp your hair in place and you don't have to worry about burning your hands the next item that I picked up is the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant. In my Sephora haul, I did mention this deodorant. I ended up picking it up because I absolutely love the way this deodorant smells. I like how it keeps me nice and clean and fresh. So when I saw this at the anniversary sale, I had to pick it up. It does come three in a pack. It retails for $81, but you're getting it for $65. And I know that this is gonna last me for an entire year. I know that they had this last year and I passed up on it because I figured I didn't need it since I was using other deodorants. But now when I saw it at the anniversary sale this year, I picked it up because I definitely wanted to be able to have backups of my favorite deodorant. This right here is the Mama Jama. Mama Jama? Mama Mama. Mama Llama? Mama Jama of moisturizers this is the big size of the Clinique moisture surge this is the 72 hour auto replenish hydrator Clinique has been a brand that I've been using since I was I want to say like 12 or 13 I remember my mom taking me to the Clinique counter and buying me all this Clinique products to keep my face looking nice and smooth back then I never used to care for my skin but my mom was really big on skincare so she introduced me to Clinique and I've tried different brands but I always find myself going back to Clinique and when I saw that they had this, I definitely had to pick it up. It comes with two 4.2 ounce jars that have massive amount of product in it. I'm planning on using this only at night just so it can hydrate my skin. And I know this is gonna last me for an entire year just in time for the anniversary sale next year. And it also does come with a Clinique Moisture Surge face spray that I can use as my travel spray. Next item I'm so happy that they had in the anniversary sale and it is the Evian face spray. I absolutely love, love, love this product. I have been using it for years now. I keep one in my purse. I have one on my vanity. And now that I have these small ones, I'm going to use as backup. It is an aerosol spray, so it does spray the mist over your face evenly. And I just love to use it as a refresher throughout the day. If ever I'm feeling that my makeup is looking a little bit old or if I feel like I'm a little bit oily, I blot my face and then I spray my face with the Evian spray and it just brings me back to life. I also like to use it when I'm out and about on the weekends, on the days that I don't wear makeup, just to help refresh in my face and just makes me feel hydrated and that's why I love this Evian spray and the fact that it came with a big bottle was a win for me so I'm definitely gonna keep this on my vanity and use the other ones as backup for when I do run out then I also picked up the Sigma brush duo kit it is the total complexion kabuki duo and it has two of their popular brushes or the two best-selling multifunctional foundation brushes it comes with the f80 which is their flat top kabuki brush I use this to apply my foundation so I figured I can get this as a backup and then the fact that it came with this one is a bonus and this one here is the 3d HD kabuki brush and let me show you guys what it looks like they come in this packaging here that Sigma is known for and these are the two brushes here I just love this brush to apply foundation it's very dense and it gives you a smooth application with your foundation every time and this one would definitely be good to get around these edges here around your face and since it was part of the anniversary sale I decided to pick them up and it retails for $50 but you're getting it for $33 so you're getting these brushes for about $17 which is a good price for these brushes because they're actually actually more than that so you're definitely getting these brushes for a steal 
My local Nordstrom didn't have a lot of baby stuff in store, so I was kind of disappointed with the selections that they had. So I did place another order online for baby stuff, but I wanted to share with you guys the items that I picked up in case you do have children that you want to shop for. Back to school season is definitely upon us. So if you guys want to stock up for your children, for your babies, for your toddlers, they definitely have a good selection online that I recommend that you guys check it out. But I only grabbed a couple things in store. So the first item that I'm going to share with you guys are these head bows that I picked up. These are by the brand Baby Bling. These are one of my favorite head bows that I've ever purchased for my daughter. I feel like they are very comfortable on her head. She doesn't constantly tug on them from being too tight on her head. They are made of this very lightweight material that doesn't feel constrictive on her head and I absolutely love it. They had these on sale for three for 20 I believe or three for 21 or something like that. So I picked up three different colors. I got the standard white color to go with everything and then I picked up these two fun pops of color. I got the coral peach color and a purple color and I feel like these will go really well with her outfits. The next item that I picked up is this bath towel. I just thought it was really cute. It has this unicorn design on it and it comes with a matching mitt. It is very soft and I know she's gonna have so much fun with this and I do love that it does come with this in the back so that way I can hang it up to let it dry and I just thought that it was so cute so that's why I picked it up. But I just picked up two items in the store that I knew that she can grow into even though they're a little bit too big for her. And the first item is this pair of Hudson jeans it is a dark wash denim that does have a little bit of fading in the front it is a little bit too big here but it is perfect lengthwise and she'll be able to have enough room to grow in these the next item is this dress that I thought was really cute it is by the brand Nordstrom baby and it is in the size 18 months and I just thought that this was a beautiful beautiful dress for her to be in I do love that this dress is a two-tone dress it does have stripes on top with a little bit of denim on the bottom and this is not a heavy denim it's actually denim fabric fabric that has polka dots on it and the polka dots is made of this felt material so it feels nice and soft and it does come with the matching bloomers. I just thought that this was so cute and I definitely see her getting many uses out of this. For the anniversary sale, they are known for their shoes. They have so many shoes to choose from, from athletic wear to dress up shoes. They have Tory Burch, Nike. Speaking of Tory Burch, I really, really wanted the Tory Burch flats because I had to retire the ones that I did have. They have been through hell and back and it was time for me to say goodbye. So I wanted to purchase another pair to replace the ones that I did get rid of. But when I tried on those Tory Burch flats, you guys, I have a wide foot, so my foot being in those Toy Birch flats, no, it just looked, it just did not look good. <laughs> It was terrible. I really wanted to love it, but I could not justify paying that price for shoes that made my foot look like I was about to break them. So unfortunately, I did have to pass up on the Toy Birch flats. They are beautiful, so if you are in the market for flats and you really want the Toy Birch ones, I would definitely recommend that you guys check it out. But if you have a wide foot like I do, I would say pass on those. But as I was mentioning, they have such a wide variety of shoes to choose from. So I just stuck to two pairs of shoes, and the first one is a trend that has kicked off since last year. And I really wanted to get into it, but I wasn't too sure how I would like it on my foot, but I'm so glad that I tried it out and the style that I'm talking about are mules. So the first pair of shoes is from Steve Madden. I got them in this mustard color, which is a perfect fall shade. I do love the gold studs on these mules because it gives it an extra something to the shoe. I've never tried a mule before and I've tried different mules at the store and I found that this mule flattered my foot the best. I did have to go up a full size, so I am a true seven and a half eight, but for these mules, I did go up a full size to size nine so that my foot was not hanging over the back of the heel but with me going up to a nine I do fit my foot in here comfortably I don't feel like I'm flopping around I don't feel like the shoes gonna come off they do fit me very comfortably and the last pair of shoes that I picked up are by Vince Camuto they're booties that I am so obsessed with I'm so obsessed I don't own anything like this in my closet they are very different for me but different in a good way different that pushes me outside of my comfort zone different enough for me to give my fashion that extra extra level of greatness in my opinion and the shoe that i'm referring to are these ones here i did pick this up in an eight and a half whenever i wear boots or booties i do go up a half size just to give me more of that comfortable fit this shoe does look like a cowboy boot so it gives me that western vibe but it's made more modern with this nice chunky heel it does have this dip in the front where you can show off your jeans these shoes are different i don't want anything like them and i cannot wait to style them for the fall time 
Moving on to my favorite part of this haul, which is the clothing pieces. I am so excited about adding these items to my collection. Before the anniversary sale came about, I did do a massive clean out of all the clothes that I did have in my closet that I no longer was interested in or that I outgrew or they were just too big for me. I just got rid of a lot of stuff in my closet just to make room for the items that I was gonna purchase for the anniversary sale. Some of you guys may not know this, but I did give birth to my daughter last year in February and after I gave birth to her, I did put on some weight. I put on I put on more than I wanted to, but I stayed comfortable in that weight because I was nursing my daughter and I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't dieting to affect my milk. And when I did try to diet, it did affect my milk production. So I stayed at a heftier weight than I wanted to be. So I did purchase clothes during the anniversary sale last year that I was able to wear throughout the year to make me feel comfortable at the weight that I was. And now that I've lost all my baby weight and then some, it was a perfect time to refresh my closet. And if you're interested in learning how I lost all my baby weight, definitely comment down below. Let me know if you wanna see a video on the weight loss and I will have that video up for you guys. All of that being said, I did wanna preface this portion of the fashion haul with all the items that I picked up because I was able to pick them up in a smaller size a I really worked hard to lose all the weight and now I feel good in the clothing pieces that I picked up so the first item is this wrap dress you guys saw me try it on in the dressing room I feel like this is a perfect dress to wear to work you can also dress it up to take it out on a date night this dress is multi-purpose and you can use this to transition into the fall time I picked this dress up because I can definitely wear it all year round and because it doesn't get too cold here I can definitely get my use out of this dress I just feel that it is a perfect spring summer dress and it does have beautiful fall colors that you can wear and transition into fall with one thing that the anniversary sale is known for is for barefoot dreams I never really understood the hype and I didn't understand why people were going crazy for the blanket for the cardigan for all the other stuff for barefoot dreams until I owned it. This is one of the softest cardigans that I own. I like to wear this over my PJs. This color they do not have available, but the reason why I'm sharing with you guys this is because they do have a similar version of this Barefoot Dreams cardigan available for the anniversary sale. So if you had your eye on it, I would definitely recommend picking it up because it is so soft and so cozy. I did get this in a small medium and it fits me so well. It makes me feel nice and cozy. Denim skirts are definitely making a comeback and I am here for the trend. The first time that I saw it was last Last year when they had this top shop denim skirt available I did pick it up in a bigger size so this skirt no longer fits me I did love the design in the front and I love the raw hem on the bottom and this was just a perfect flattering skirt for me so when I saw this year that they had another version of the denim skirt but this one is by blank NYC I had to grab it I love this denim style I love the color on it this top shop skirt is of a darker wash while this one is more on the lighter side and it does have some some fading in the front it also has some fading in the back and on the pocket it's so comfortable it doesn't feel constricting on me since I am on this weight loss journey I did take advantage and purchase jeans that actually fit me that fit me comfortably that I don't have to worry about wearing with the belt so the first pair of jeans that I picked up were these AG jeans I love the brand AG they just fit perfectly all around and I picked this one in the legging ankle super skinny ankle jean and I got this in my true size this is a size 28. I also did pick up the skirt in a size 28 as a size reference and these fit me perfectly and I love the distressing that it has all throughout the pants. It's not too much. It's very subtle. They're so comfortable and they look amazing on. The last pair of jeans that I picked up is by the brand called Weight and Wisdom. I never heard of this brand but the sales associate who was helping me, Ashley, she told me to try this out. This is their premium denim at a discounted price and I see why she recommended it. These jeans fit amazing. These are another pair of jeans that hug your body very well. There's no gaping in the back. I put these on and I do the squat test to make sure that I have room to do a squat in them and I can definitely do that. And another reason why I love these jeans is that they come in petite form. You can get this in regular or petite and I got this in a size 4 petite and I love them. They fit very well on me and the style of these jeans are called Absolution and it's featuring a slimming panel constructed to mold and hold and boost your assets so that's the description of these jeans and they fit so well the last dress that I picked up is this black dress from lush and it is a mid-length bodycon dress it does hug your curves in all the right places I've already worn this dress and I love how you can dress it up or you can dress it down it is a simple black dress that you can wear to the office and you can add a blazer to it to make it a little bit more work appropriate or you can dress it up to go out on a date 
date night or to go out with your friends. This is a very versatile basic dress that I'm happy that I added to my collection. I did get this dress in an extra small and it fits me very well. So I would say that this dress runs a little bit bigger. So I would say size down. The next two items that I'm going to show you guys are within the same category. They're just different colors by two different brands. And the shirts that I got are these two plaid shirts that I am so happy about. I love plaid shirts. I do own a couple of plaid shirts that are in that quintessential red burgundy color. So when I saw these, I wanted to add them to my collection just so that way I have a variety of plaid shirts to choose from. This one is by BP and I love the way that this fits on me. I plan on wearing it regular, but I also do plan on wearing it with it tied up in the front. I also plan on wearing it with it tucked in in the front and this part hanging out in the back. And I can definitely use this as a layering piece or I can use this as my top and then layer one of my cardigans on top of it. There's so many different ways that you can wear and style a plaid shirt. So I'm happy to have added this color to my collection. And this plaid shirt is by Treasure and Bond. It is in the boyfriend style. So it is a little bit oversized and I do plan on wearing it the same way that I want to wear the green one. I actually paired it with this black dress and I had this tied around my waist to give me more of a casual look. And I paired it with some sneakers and I was good to go. And I absolutely love the outfit. I got so many compliments when I did wear it. Champion is a brand that you definitely see making a comeback. You see them on influencers, you see them on celebrities. So when I saw that they were part of the sale, I decided to pick up something for Tony and for myself. The shirt that I got for Tony is this black champion shirt here. And it just says champion on the front of it. It's just a nice black solid shirt. And for me, I ended up getting the same exact shirt, but in white with the champion logo in blue and I got it in a small. So I just thought it was really cute for us to be able to match and that's why I got these two shirts in two different colors. So at least he doesn't feel like we're matchy matchy. We're just wearing the same style shirt, just in two different colors. The next item that I picked up is by Blink and YC. It is called the Cloud Nine Drape Jacket and it is in this color called Mount Rushmore, which is more of a brown mocha color. And I just thought this was really cute. It is a nice piece that I can use to layer with. So you just connect it here at the top and it will cover you up and it will just give you like that drape effect. And it does have this material in the back that gives you room to layer this jacket with. And I just thought it was a nice jacket to have that I can use to layer with and I can definitely use on the nice where it does get cold here in Florida whenever we do have our cold fronts. I am a big fan of the Ivy Park line. Beyonce is my girl. I love her. And when I saw this cropped hoodie available for sale, I grabbed it. I love that it says Ivy Park across the top. It is kind of flashy, but not really flashy. It's not really in your face. And I just like the fact that it does give it a nice little contrast. It does break up the black and it gives it some kind of depth and dimension. And I love the sleeves on here. They are a little bit wide. This hoodie is very comfortable and I'm so happy that they had it available for the anniversary sale. I did pick up another cardigan and it is by the brand Chelsea 28 and it is in this burnt orange color and it is of a lightweight material. It is oversized but it doesn't look like it overtakes my body. I do love the fit of it and I do love the color. This reminds me of pumpkin spice. It reminds me of fall and even though it is a fall color I'm definitely gonna wear this all year round just so that way I can remember the feeling of fall. The next item is this top shop sweater. It is made of a lightweight material so I don't feel like I'm gonna be too hot in it and I just feel like the color patterns are beautiful. It's not like anything that I own in my closet. It does remind me of like that 70s, 80s feel to it, but with a modern twist. And the last fashion piece that I got is this green utility jacket that I got from Cowson. It's not too boxy. It's very comfortable. It is a jacket that I can definitely wear all year round. It is not going to keep you warm in the winter months because it is not made of that kind of material. So you can use this in the fall time as a layering piece. It is a perfect piece that I can wear all year round. And overall, I just love the fit of this utility jacket. So that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys that I got in store. Definitely check out my Instagram where I'm going to be styling these pieces and showing you guys how I wear them throughout my everyday life. I have been posting a lot of pictures recently. So if you haven't checked out my Instagram page, definitely check it out. And another thing that I wanted to mention is that this sweater that I'm wearing is currently on sale right now. It is not part of the anniversary sale, but it is at 40% off the original price. So if you guys wanted to check it out, I will have it listed down below. They do have all the sizes available. There are two items that I picked up from the anniversary sale last year that are available this year that I wanted to recommend to you guys. And the first one is this Barefoot Dreams blanket. 
you guys this is nice and soft and cozy i got it in the gray color this blanket does come in two different colors it comes in the white and gray color or the traditional cheetah print or leopard print color and these are the softest blankets that you will ever own and they're definitely worth it they are expensive outside of the sale so if you can get them during the anniversary sale i would highly recommend it and then the last item that i want to share with you guys is this value spa candle they do have a three pack available it is one of the best soft smelling candles but it doesn't feel overpowering it doesn't feel overwhelming they have these nice soft scents to them so if you are into candles like i am i would definitely recommend that you guys check it out i didn't pick up any candles this year because i have quite a few candles to burn through but i just wanted to recommend that to you guys so yeah that's everything that i wanted to share with you guys for the items that i picked up in store thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to enter in the giveaway and until next time i'll talk to you guys later bye